so I haven't seen a lot of videos of trimming up Honda Ridge lines. Okay, so I have a Honda Ridge line. I have a H, uh, HRG three inch lift on it. And I want to be able to put 32s on it. But I have some offset Jeep wheels as well. They're, I have an inch and a quarter back uh, adapter for these wheels. Um, and then I also have the rims are offset uh, negative five. So they stick out quite a bit. Um, as you can see right here in my rear, uh, if you can see that, um, they do stick out quite a bit. Um, and so I'm running into a lot of issues with rubbing and grinding back here. And so um, taking out this foam piece here, I'm just going to basically be taking out all this junk. And um, really, I've already ground this inner fender piece um, quite a bit, but it still rubs a little. But I want to be able to fit bigger ones, so I'm going to grind this basically all out. And I I was looking at uh, inside the cab um, with uh, where the wiring is and such, and this should just be empty back here. So I'm going to do some test um, cuts with the grinder right here and just see how empty it is back here. Um, I know structurally and all that jazz, uh, and then I have to be able to cover it with some metal and whatnot. But I've never seen this done before on a ridge line, so um, yeah, we're gonna give this a shot and see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out all right. I'm gonna take probably about an inch away from the fenders as well. Um, and then and then from that, you know, take an inch away from here and then um, also be cutting into the, the frame a little bit, the subframe and whatnot. So wish me luck, hopefully it goes well, and uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good challenge. <laughs> okay, so I traced out uh, about a, probably an inch and a half on my fenders here. Um, I'll show you exactly how I did that real quick. Um, I don't have a stand for my phone, so you just have to bear with me. Um, basically, what I did was, I just have this 100 foot tape, but uh, I actually saw, I'll have to tag the guy's video, I saw him do this on, on YouTube, but essentially, it has a little, little hole right here for me. And so I just took my marker, and held my finger at about an inch and a half on this. And just put my marker in there, and I just traced it. So I just, I just ran it basically like this around the whole way, and then it should just follow the same contours of the uh, of the fender itself. So wish me luck. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna cut that, and uh, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> I just have this uh, grind cutting wheel, so hopefully uh, it goes the best. I'll time lapse the cut for you, and then show you afterwards. All right, so I just cut that. Um, not sure how good it's gonna turn out, but uh, we'll find out. And uh, here we go. So just pulling this off. Well, let me switch this camera back around. All right, so when I was cutting it, obviously they get quite everything, um, but uh, they didn't come out too bad. Um, I do got some, you know, I got the grind wheel that I'll take that and like trim it up real nice. Um, but that way, that opened it up quite a bit which is really nice um, back here there actually aren't any secure um, brackets or anything except for down here so this is all just basically open um, I will have to figure out how to cover this or whatever because it goes right into the door um, but I live in southern Utah I live in st. George so there's not a lot of weather and a lot of um, stuff that'll get caught up in there until I can do that because I'm not gonna be off-roading until I fix that so um, but uh, yeah I mean it's not too bad. We'll see. I'll let you know uh, after I grind it up. Okay, so this is essentially what I got so far. Um, cleaned up pretty good. It is still extremely sharp, so I'm going to get a uh, um, file and cut that. But Realistically, I mean, I don't think that looks half bad. I will end up getting some like flares and stuff, but I think coming in here and cutting this off right in here is going to be really crucial. Um, I don't know how far into the cab. I don't know if you can really see that, but I don't know into the unibody here. I want to try it. There is a bolt right here. I might just take that out and then cut right there. 
because it doesn't need to be all of it. It just needs to be this part right here. So um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll play with it. Probably put a little hole in it right here, kind of cut this corner off, and then kind of see what's in there. So wish me luck. <laughs> now is going to be the time to, to cut this little bit off, see what's inside. I'm just going to cut this little corner off right here. Um, as long as my, my cut wheel will do that, but I'm going to give that an attempt and see what's in there. Uh, cause if it, if it's good and, and there's nothing really there, I'm just going to take that essentially and just kind of cut up here. Cause I might even cut this, um, this tab as well, just for the inner fender, which I'm probably going to take off. Um, uh, but nonetheless, you know, it might come all the way up to here, but, uh, start right there and see, see where we go, you know? Let's see. I don't know if you can really see. There's not, not really anything in there. So, um, realistically, I think you can cut this out. You know, obviously the the integrity of the the frame. You know, that'll be you know compromised or whatever. But um, you know, right in here, I think I'll take it up right up along this thing, and um, as long as my blade works. But initially, I'll probably just cut this out a little bit. So I have a little bit more room and I'll file it off and, and make it look halfway decent and kind of see where that gets me. All right, sorry about the lighting, but obviously it's dark out. But if you look, got most of it. I still got a cut, battery died, so I had to smash this stuff out of the way. But essentially, if you can see, it's still really close, obviously, right here. So I didn't quite cut it high enough. So I think if I angled it, you know, somewhere right around here, then I think that would be, that'd be sufficient. So I gotta wait for the battery to charge a little bit and then cut that off. Um, that way it's not just hanging there. Um, but I, did, I was able to bend this piece. Cause, so I guess there's a, there's this piece that is pinch welded to um, this inner piece, but then there's also a third piece in the middle, right? So um, I'm not a welder. I don't know much about welding at all. Um, but so this piece and this piece are welded together with a piece in the middle of it, uh, which is the piece that I bent. So I cut this side, I cut that side, uh, and then just bent over that because the battery died. So I just used a hammer and smashed it. But uh, so this, I'll have to cut this off or grind it or something tonight. That way I can actually like kind of drive this tomorrow. This is my daily, so um, little bits at a time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but essentially that I think will really uh, help with um, clearance. Obviously, um, it's not going to be rubbing. Um, I just have to file it down, you know, and, and whatnot. I won't be off roading or anything until this is completed. But uh, that actually is really comforting to know that this is. This has some opening in there. Um, it's just a gap, uh, just a space. Um, I think it would be great if I can get a welder, not me, a someone that welds and uh, be able to get a plate or something welded against this uh, once once it's done. That way, it, it still has that enclosure. It's still you know nothing's getting in there, um, or bolt some aluminum and put some like rubber gasket or something around it, whatever. Um, but I think that that will be sufficient. Um, get some bigger tires on here and, and whatnot, I think would be pretty sweet. Uh, then I wouldn't have to worry much more about that, but that's what I got for you guys so far for tonight. Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, right? And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video.